Hello, in this video we're going to do some numerical examples involving the seven short run cost functions. Let's start with the total cost equation. TC equals 10 plus 2Q. Let's derive and graph all the firm's cost functions. Since total cost is comprised of fixed cost and variable cost, the fixed cost component is just a constant or 10, $10. The variable cost component, which depends on the quantity produced, is going to be 2Q. From fixed cost, we can get average fixed cost by taking 10 and dividing it by the quantity, the average fixed cost equation. From the variable cost equation, we can get average variable cost. 2Q divided by Q just equals 2. Let's get average cost. Since average cost is nothing more than average fixed cost plus average variable cost, average cost in this example equals 10 divided by Q, okay, right here, plus 2. And finally, we need marginal cost, MC. Marginal cost is going to be the derivative of either the variable cost equation or the total cost equation with respect to output. So the derivative of 10 plus 2Q or the derivative of 2Q is just 2. Let's take a look at how these um, functions look graphically. Let me squeeze a graph in over here. Let's graph the fixed cost equation. Fixed cost is just constant at $10. Regardless of how many units of output we produce in the short run, the firm has fixed cost equal to $10. Variable cost equals 2Q. So it's just going to be a slope uh, a line from the origin, a ray from the origin with a, with a slope of 2. Total cost is just 10 plus variable cost and it's going to look like this. The total cost equation lying $10 above the variable cost equation. Okay, let's take a look at graphing average variable cost, average cost, and marginal cost. Marginal cost is two dollars. Average variable cost is two dollars. So in this example, marginal cost equals average variable cost. And the average cost equation equals 10 divided by Q plus two. You'll notice here that as Q gets bigger and bigger, you know, imagine Q going to infinity, for example. Average cost is basically going to approach $2. So your average cost equation is going to be downward sloping, approaching the marginal cost and average variable cost equation, but never quite hitting it. So that's what this um, example looks like. Let's do another example. Let's say that total cost equals 10 plus 2Q, 2Q squared. So fixed cost is just a constant. Again, in this example, it's just $10. Variable cost is going to be the part of the equation that has uh, Qs in it. So in this case, 2Q squared. Again, variable cost is a function of output. Uh, fixed cost is not. From fixed cost, we get average fixed cost, 10 divided by Q. From variable cost, we get average variable cost. I'm just rewriting the formula here, to see what I'm doing. So taking variable cost and dividing by Q, you're just left with 2Q. The firm's average cost. The firm's average cost is average fixed cost plus average variable cost. So 
So 10 divided by q plus 2q. And we need one more cost, that's marginal cost. As before, we'll take either the derivative of the total cost equation or variable cost equation. And taking the derivative of 10 plus 2q squared, we get 4q. We're taking the derivative of 2q squared from the variable cost equation, we get the same answer. Okay, a, a graphical look at this. Fixed cost, constant at 10. Variable cost going to look like this, starting at the origin, but increasing at an increasing rate. And total cost is just going to be $10 plus the variable cost. It's going to look like that. And finally, let's graph marginal cost, average variable cost, and average cost. So let's start with average variable cost, 2q. Marginal cost is 4q, so the slope of the marginal cost curve is twice as steep as the slope of the average variable cost curve. And finally, let's put in average cost. Average cost is going to first fall, but then it's going to begin to rise and approach the average variable cost curve, but never quite reaching it. Once again, you'll notice here from the average cost equation, as q gets bigger and bigger, this term gets smaller and smaller, meaning that average cost is going to start to mimic the average variable cost curve approaching 2q. So the average variable cost curve will start looking like the average variable cost curve at very, very large units of output. They'll never be equal, but it'll get closer and closer. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful.